Fliggertail, hurry up and wait. Five uh, tracks for 18 minutes, the debut EP from the Sydney Four Piece, released March 2018 via Golden Robot Records, produced by Steve Balby and Tony Wall. Two promo tracks have been released, Talk and Back of My Mind. Brendan? Uh, I've started this with just pub rock and party vibes. It's um, it's not groundbreaking new stuff, but it's happy rock and tunes. Byron got me into these a while ago, actually, and yeah. I, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it's not all straight out stuff. I thought there was quite a bit of diversity. For, yeah. for a five track EP, they managed to get some real different sort of yeah. tempos and changes no, in there. I, that too. I was getting a lot of sort of Arctic Monkeys. Yeah, I get what you mean. You know, so it was still rocking, but there was definitely some, some Brit pop mm. influences going on there. Um, pretty well written songs. Uh, pr- a pretty raw sound, but in a good way. I thought it sort yeah, of suited what they were doing. Yeah. Uh, look, for a, for a debut EP, I think it's, it's pretty solid. Um, I'll keep an eye out and see what they're doing next. I, I quite liked it. I gave them 8 out of 10. The highlights were Talk, Fade Away, and Back of My Mind. Nice. I had Coochie. Coochie? <laughs> Coochie. Coochie. Hey. Fuck. <laughs> Catchy, hook-driven, enjoyable rock. A bit different to what I usually listen to. It's a bit more on the softer side of rock. Um, it took a couple of listens for me to get into it, but Dave, that's just due to my taste. it's wasp. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> flick a towel. Fuck like a beast. <laughs> You see that just in the next doesn't work with that uh, band title. Um, I'd have to be in the right mood for this, but for me, this works best late at night, listening with a few, few shots of bourbon. It's kind of re- reflective, yeah. thought-driven music. Yeah. I gave it seven out of ten. Green Eyed Girl and Back of my, Back of My Mind. Yeah, we are in the back of your mind right now. Like. <laughs> yeah, um, there's a lot of things there. <laughs> This is an upbeat rock listen, sort of mm. perfect for radio kind of play. Mm. Very crisp and clear production. I get what you mean by the raw side of mm. things, but it's got a very, it's got a crisp and clear kind of sound, which is mm. very different to the, a lot of things we tend to listen to. A fair bit of sparkle in this. It suits the style mm. well. I'd probably like a bit more bottom end punch to this one overall, but it makes sense and it isn't anything that puts you off the listen. It's just been being a production Nazi, so to speak. Um, <laughs> speaking of an off topic German <laughs> conversation a minute ago. <laughs> um, this one is all about hooks, and they've got those down pat. The writing is bang on for the style. If you like it a bit more lighthearted, smooth, and memorable, mm. you're going to like this one. Great talent on display. Everything and everyone serves the songs, which is nice. And there's a fair bit of diversity, so I picked up on mm. that as well. Um, some nice touches of blues, and the lyrics mm. are, are well done as well in that regard. Some cool groove on yeah. this, I found. Uh, this is a band you can imagine both being really good and really fun mm. in the live environment. Uh, and it's pretty... Overall, it's pretty straightforward sort of rock radio or radio rock listen, I should say. Um, It's one that anyone can find something to enjoy in, though, and it's the sort of thing that really could and should get radio play here, but we all know what will happen there. (laughs) Um, This is, in my opinion, the kind of EP that can really put a band on the map if the media get behind it, Mm. because it's really well done and really accessible. Mm. So it's one of those things that it's just there for anyone to get a hold of the downside of that is while it's really well done there's nothing per se that truly sets them apart in my Mm. opinion so they're not breaking new ground they're doing a very good job what they're doing but it's not setting it apart either not the most hard rock listen by far but certainly it does have plenty of rock about Mm. it Um, and one to check out if you want something just to lighten the mood a little bit and simply make you feel good it's well worth the spin to see if it's worth adding to your collection to make up your own mind though I gave it a 7.5 out of 10 Green Eyed Girl and Talk but I will be keeping an eye on them in the future let us know what you think check it out for yourselves 